Electric motorcycles are awesome, I'm just gonna say it. Their power and torque profiles mean they can smoke a gas bike that packs twice the horsepower. They cost pennies to operate and maintain since electricity is way cheaper than gas. You spend more time riding and less time wrenching because there's just not much to break on them. And they offer a pleasant mechanical electric whir instead of a vibrating cacophony that pisses off your neighbors. The only problem is they usually pack quite a sticker shock from high purchase prices. At least, until I found this awesome bike. Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today I'm taking a first ride on the Coulter ES1 S Pro electric motorcycle. Let's check it out. Real quick, I just want to mention that I had the chance to test this bike out while I was on vacation, and so I didn't have all of my riding gear with me. I borrowed a helmet, but I always recommend fully suiting up before every ride. I don't want to sound like your mother here, but I generally wear my full protective motorcycle jacket and gloves, in addition to crashed pants and boots. So just don't take my half-naked riding here as an endorsement of minimal gear. I just wasn't going to pass up on an opportunity to try one of these awesome new bikes. Okay, moving on. Now, the Coulter ES1 is already popular in Europe and Asia, but it finally came to North America earlier this year. Starting at $5,995 in the US, it offers highway-capable performance at a price that is well within the budget of many new riders. Now, I love riding a flagship Zero Electric motorcycle, or Harley-Davidson's Electric Motorcycles too. they're great, but I don't have $20,000 burning a hole in my pocket. And a pint-sized $3,000 mini electric motorcycle is fun and cheap, I've owned one of those, but they're not highway capable. So for $6,000, the Coulter ES1 here seems like the Goldilocks option. It's got a top speed of around 75 miles an hour, meaning it can just make it onto the highway, though you might be stuck in the right lane depending on how drivers are like near you. I did my test riding north of Miami, and so I'm technically in the city here, but on Florida's 50 mile an hour city roads. So I was able to break into the 60s of miles per hour without risking a ticket on someone else's bike. But the Coulter wanted to keep going faster, so I have no doubt that 70s of miles per hour are easily possible. The motor powers the wheel via belt drive and it offers 11 kilowatts of power or about 14 horsepower. That's not crazy high, this is not a sport bike, but it's plenty to blast off ahead of all the cars, that's for sure. This is a mid-spec electric motorcycle. Again, not going to beat a Harley-Davidson Livewire electric motorcycle's 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 3 seconds, but at less than a third of the price, it's plenty good for commuter use, which is exactly the type of riding it's meant for. And for a commuter roll, it's got plenty of range, though it's also got an option for either one or two removable batteries, so you can sort of dial in the range that you need. The batteries are 2.3 kilowatt hours each, so the pair gives you 4.6 kilowatt hours. With both batteries, you get around 80 miles in the city, which is definitely enough for me, or you get around 55 miles on the highway, which is eh, probably fine for most commuters, especially if you can charge at work. Again, this is not a touring bike, so don't think you're going to be riding the twisties all day with a quick lunch stop and then check out the Grand Canyon. This is an affordably priced commuter electric motorcycle, that's all. Though actually, if you want to spend a bit more, you can get the Enduro kit that includes bigger wheels with knobby tires and lets you do some fun off-road playing. I tried that one a bit too, though I wasn't quite as much of a fan, partly because I didn't have any trails to explore, and partly because the chain drive was much louder. I prefer the tighter feel of the street version, plus I like that quiet belt drive setup too. With an affordable price, local US dealers, and specs that are more than enough for commuter use, the Coulter ES1 is currently the best and also only low-cost highway capable electric motorcycle in the US. New and Saunders, your move. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that first ride on the Coulter ES1 S Pro. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.